In this particular session, we will continue with our next scenario with the access control issue part 3. So here, this was a private note application. You can create a pin once and access your notes after entering the correct pin. Now try to access the private notes from outside the app without knowing the pin. It means we just have to create the pin and we have to access the private notes without clicking on this button here. So first of all, let's create the pin. I'm creating pin as 4565 five, and let's go with create pin. Pin has been created and you can see we got a new button, go to private notes. And after entering pin 4565, five, we can see the notes here. Now we can do two things here. First, you can directly call these notes. First of all, you have to check where these notes have been stored. If they were stored in some, let's say like database, then you can directly access those database or not first condition second condition was the pin that you have created is stored somewhere it let's say it was stored in some shared preferences this pin was stored in some databases just extract the pin and then you can access the notes but the objective as per the objective part we don't have to enter the pin or we don't have to click on this go to private notes it means we have to directly access the notes part so we will do this a little bit different way here so first of all let's go with the source code to see where the nodes are being stored so for that part i'll go with the same android manifest file and inside manifest file we'll simply go with the activity name with the access control issue 3 so let's go with the access control issue 3 it will be available somewhere here yeah we got the activity here let's go with the source code for access control issue 3 activity and it's right here now under the access control activity 3 here you can see we got a simple on create method which will be triggered when we open this activity and another method we got here with the name access nodes which will be triggered for your view elements under the access node part we simply declare two different variables here first one was your pin txt and second one was a button after that part we got a basic if condition which simply compares our input with our stored pin part and the pin here was stored inside the preference manager dot get default shared preferences dot get string and dot get p key here it means inside the shared preferences we simply store the pin that we have created here and the key name will be p key here you can see the variable name for this pin part will be p key but we don't have to call this directly we will go with the database part or we simply go with this shared preference part if you go with this line here at line number 40 you can see we simply use a list view element to print out the content and the content here is being fetched from this content resolver method here for the database it means private nodes are being stored inside your database so what you can do you can simply directly call your content provider but to call any content provider you need to figure out the exact uri or the exact uniform resource identifier for that particular database and the content uri you can see is available inside your nodes provider dot content provider it means the particular uri is defined inside this notes provider so just go with this notes provider and follow declaration part and remember one more thing we simply execute a query here we simply use the get content resolver method and with the content resolver method we simply execute a query and inside the query we call this uri so just go with this class notes provider go to declaration and inside this notes provider class you can see we got the exact uri with the name content underscore uri equals to content colon slash slash jacker dot assume dot diva dot provider dot notes provider slash notes this was your database name and the table name here so if we can directly call this content provider we don't have to go anywhere else we don't have to click here we don't have to enter the pin or to directly call this database what you have to do is 
again go with the same adb part but this time we will not use our activity manager this time we will use our content management part or the content part so just go with the basic command adb and go with your content if you simply press enter i forgot the shell adb shell and content you can see we got different options that you can use here with the example part i'll simply go with the basic query here that we have to execute a query as per the source code we need to execute a query just go with query so we just go with hyphen hyphen uri just to specify here and simply copy the name of the uri from here so just copy the name and paste this one here to see the content and if you simply press enter you can see we were able to access the data from that particular database why we are able to see the content of the database here is important part if any component was exported again only then we can see the data i'll go back to the manifest file which is here if you go with the content here just go with the content provider here you can see we got the provider and this particular provider here you can see we got android colon exported equals to true it means any other application or any application component can directly make a call to this database and that database will simply send the response because of this exported part by default all the databases all the content providers were not exported unless you make them exported so this was your access control issue part 3. Have a good day and stay connected.